Hello again, welcome back for another Bluebeam tutorial. Today I am going to show how to overlay two documents. So I have a containment drawing here and I have a lighting drawing here in tabbed across. So I've got two tabs. This is actually the same document I always use for Bluebeam training and this is just one page extracted from it and opened in a separate tab. <coughs> so the purpose for this would be just to you know if you had two services say you didn't have AutoCAD or you didn't have access to you know a, a DWG file or maybe the RVT file or whatever and you want to turn on a layer that would possibly be you know turned on if you had AutoCAD you could just drop on the, the containment layout or the lighting layout or whatever the layout is so you don't really have that option with PDFs as you know but you kind of have this secondary option where we could overlay two PDFs on top of each, well, one PDF on top of another, and just change the color of that one, so you'll know of one of them or both of them or whatever, to, so you'll know that one is overlaid. <coughs> so the purposes of this is really just to check to see if the containment is going to serve all the lights, or would we require more um, containment? You know, like there's no light containment in this area here but if we check there is actually lights in this area however there's no lights here and there's no containment either so we it would be maybe this would be an area that's out of scope so uh, that's why there's no containment in there this is just I drew this in AutoCAD myself and exported it just to show how to do it so anyway what we do is we would go to document about halfway down you have this option for overlay pages this um, little tab will open you have a choice so our first document here is this one which shows we have three pages and our second one is then this tab here which is showing page one now you can add if you want or you know you can remove and you can switch up and down I find the easiest way is just open both of them so you know it's right but you can add if you only had one open there you can add from there now if you hit ok it's just going to randomly do it and it won't actually um, line up so you hit align points so in this it just says you pick three points okay so we have to pick three points on each drawing so it'll pick three on this one and then it'll automatically switch to the other one and pick the same three points and then they'll overlay the other option there was the colors so we went for a magenta and a green <clears throat> so you can pick three points on the drawing which will be here you know here and here but that would be a bad way to do it if they're not scaled correctly as actually you'll see with this one I've purposely done that so I've scaled these drawings slightly different the building is scaled correctly but the drawing isn't so if I was to line up these points here the drawing would be fine but the building would be off so what you're better off doing is making sure the building is correct so if I pick this very left hand point here so the very northwest if you like of the drawing I'll pick similar point southwest and I will head northeast look for a I'm looking for a square point though so I'm not going to get one there and I want it to intersect any point I pick will intersect with you know it'll be at least two points intersecting so you want it to you know hit this where it, where it hits at a 90 degree bend there rather than just picking the end of a like you know if you pick here at the end of a line or here at the end of a line you're better off you get more accurate from picking the 90 degree point so we're going to pick here okay so we picked the same three points which was here we headed southeast, we picked here, and then we picked this point here. Okay, so you can clear it and do it again if you made a mistake. Um, so we're going to change the red to magenta just by double clicking on it and hitting OK. Now we hit OK, give it a second, and as you can see, the green and the magenta, which was the two colors I chose to overlay, so I was <clears throat> overlaying the green with the magenta drawing so the magenta is our containment now our building has lined up perfectly 
So if we were to have lined up, you know, from this line to this line, our building would be off. So the best way to do it is using the building. <coughs> so this was just an example which I knew knew would happen and I wanted to put it in for that reason. So now you can see your, your trays are covering this room, they're covering this room. There's nothing in the stair core, but you know, we'll, we'll have to service that with conduit in here. They're covering this room again. Stairway is going to be conduit. Stairway is going to be conduit. They're in this room. <clears throat> now you can see in here that they're rising here, just coming out here. And um, this one doesn't actually show a riser, but anyway, you know, we're just showing that that there's conduit in the sorry, there's containment in the room, and um, we're going to service that by the stairs. And um, there's a riser here, but there's no tray. And um, we have here, we have here, we have here. And um, we don't have over here. So you could see, oh, well, we do from here, I suppose. So that's fine. Yeah, we can conjure it across. It might be a bit far to this one. Or, you know, maybe it'd be more beneficial just teeing out here. Same for here, same for here. Depending on, this would be like a cost saving exercise to see, okay, should we. For the sake of you know maybe three brackets just run one length of tray or two lengths of tray to close to this back wall we can get that plus you know if you were to do it with general services as well you could have a socket in here or a socket here so um it would make sense maybe just to run the the containment in you're also going to have um, a smoke head more or less center of the room so uh you know having your containment coming in it will allow you to pick up that and that's before we get into things like data points so again, running the containment in and just doing a T, although it looks like we're saving money here, it might make more sense just to T out here. So that anyway is the purpose of the overlay. Again, these are overview videos. So um, just because I'm saying it's for this reason, I'm sure you can use it for various reasons. This is why I would do it. It is again, non-biased. So everything was changed to magenta from the containment drawing which is the text the lines the containment itself the dimensions and uh, the notes about it so if i've if i've taken dimensions or if i've added notes they've all been changed to magenta and again because the original drawing for lighting as you can see we use a light green for the emergency fittings um, and these a types kind of a, a bright green and then a kind of scion color for kind of looks like a blue 140 I think if um, someone might correct me there in comments but I think that's the color and um, but uh, yeah for the lights the types aren't on this um, and then we have sorry our containment is here so everything was changed to magenta and dropped in on top of a green drawing so that's how you do an overlay with bluebeam I hope this helps Link in the video description will bring you to a more general Bluebeam tutorial with training um, for a lot of kind of combined smaller shorter videos. And I have um, you know a couple other trainings there to do with Bluebeam in my channel if you choose to watch them. If you've enjoyed the video I please ask you to like and um, thanks for watching.